Hello, today is the first Sunday of Advent. Thank you for joining us for the Family Liturgy of the Word. We are the Cusick family. This is Finn, Charlie, and Caitlin, and I'm Matt. Let us begin our prayer together in song. Let us begin our prayer today in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Welcome to this Sunday's Liturgy of the Word. Today we celebrate the first Sunday of Advent, a special season in our church calendar that invites us to get ready and get excited to celebrate Jesus' birth on Christmas. Friends, as we prepare ourselves to hear the Word of God today, let us quiet our hearts to think about where we need God's love and mercy in our lives and how we can better prepare our hearts to be ready for Jesus. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O oh God, you give us every good gift. Help us to be watchful so that we will be ready when you come again to bring about the fullness of your kingdom on earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We now invite you to extend your hands over your Advent wreaths and join us as we bless them with this prayer. Eternal God, pour forth your blessing upon us as we light the candles of this Advent wreath. May its growing brightness remind us of the approaching nearness of Jesus, our Savior, so that on the day of his coming, we may be found ready to take the bold and necessary steps to renew ourselves and our parish with your grace and blessing in the name of the Father and of the Son in the Holy Spirit, amen. As we make our way through the Advent season, let us be mindful of how we might contribute to the deepening and ongoing mission of the parish faith community. Let us pray. Challenging God of light, as we prepare for the coming of Jesus, may our hearts and lives be filled with a spirit of discernment and holy renewal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, my prayer is that God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ will be kind to you and will bless you with peace. I never stop thanking my God for being kind enough to give us, to give you Jesus, Christ Jesus, who helps you speak and understand so well. Now you are certain that everything we told you about our Lord Christ Jesus is true. You are not missing out on any blessings as you wait for him to return. And until the day Christ does return, he will keep you completely innocent. God can be trusted, and he chose you to be partners with his son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Make us turn to you, show us your face, and we shall be saved. Shepherd of Israel, hearken from your throne and shine forth, arouse your power, and come to reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be watchful, be alert. You do not know when the time will come. It is like a man traveling abroad. He leaves home and places his servants in charge, each with his own work, and orders the gatekeeper to be on the watch. Watch, therefore, you do not know when the Lord of the house is coming, whether in the evening, or at midnight, or at cockcrow, or in the morning. May he not come suddenly and find you sleeping. When I say to you, I say to all, watch. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Take a moment to imagine this scenario. You're with your family, taking a nice walk on a Saturday afternoon along the river. There are lots of birds and geese around, and you just love the geese and want to pet them. Dad says, watch out, the geese might bite you. So you decide maybe that's not a good idea. As you continue walking, you need to cross the street and you run out ahead of your parents towards the crosswalk. Mom calls from behind you, stop. Look both ways and watch out for the cars. You come to a screeching halt and look to your left and your right. You keep walking until you approach your destination, your uncle's baseball game. You sit with your family as the batter comes up to the plate. The pitcher throws the ball, the batter hits it, and the coach says, watch out, foul ball, as it comes over the fence and lands at a far distance away. This Sunday, we begin a new liturgical year and enter into the season of Advent. In today's Gospel for Mark, 
we hear a lot about watching. In the parable, a man leaves his home to travel abroad and leaves his servants in charge. He tasks his gatekeeper to be on the watch because they don't know when the man will return home. As we enter into Advent, we are invited into a period of waiting and preparation for the coming of Christ at Christmas. Now, I don't know about you, but waiting can be really hard. So it's important for us to notice how we can prepare our hearts and minds for Christ. So remember that story I told you to imagine in our heads earlier? We heard a lot of different people telling us to watch, just as Jesus tells us to be watchful. We were moving along through the day and momentarily startled to notice something physically happening around us. While we are called to become aware of our surroundings, this type of watching is different from the one that Jesus is inviting us to as we begin Advent. Here we have a physical watching of what's happening in our world, but we are asked in the season of Advent to consider a spiritual watching. The spiritual watching invites us to see where love, compassion, justice, mercy, and hope can be present in our lives. For like the servants and the gatekeeper, we do not know when Jesus will come, but we are called to respond to the world around us with a spiritual lens. Through this spiritual watching, we're able to see how it plays out physically in our world, which can enhance and deepen our understanding and love towards it. When mom and dad tell us to watch out as we cross the street, they say it because they love us and want us to be safe. The servants in today's gospel are left with the responsibility of the home, each with his own work. The ways that we can be spiritually watchful this Advent season will differ for each person, but God has called us to think about how we might bring in the spiritual practice of watching into our lives. As we enter into this special season, may we open our hearts to the possibilities God can show us to be watchful in faith, hope, joy, and love as we await Christ's coming and help those around us to also be watchful. I now invite you to pause your video and think with your family about these two questions. What are ways that you have been watchful? What are ways that you think you can be watchful in the season of Advent? And two, how can you prepare your hearts for Christ as Christmas approaches? We bring our needs and requests before our God. For all Catholic and Christian parishes throughout the world, may we be truly mindful of God's ways so that God might meet us doing right. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For world leaders, that they may solve their differences without resorting to threats, violence, and war. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For our country, that our laws and policies might reflect our Christian concern for refugees, immigrants, and the poor. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For those suffering from HIV, AIDS, and for those suffering from COVID-19, may they be healed and may we continue to do all we can to contain the spread of these harmful diseases. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For our St. Ignatius community, may our celebration of Advent and Christmas become an opportunity for us to grow in the wisdom and knowledge of what it means to be a parish community that works for justice. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For our beloved dead and those names inscribed in our parish book of life and remembrance may they rejoice always in god's presence we pray lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer 
God of all creation, you have given us every good thing. We trust in your constant care for us. Hear these prayers we bring before you. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. Let's pray in song and gestures the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And now, let's offer each other the sign of peace. Just a few announcements before we close today. If you've not yet had the chance to put together your family's Advent wreath, our very own Eric Haydell has put together a wonderful video to help you. Please see the most recent Faith Formation newsletter for more information. We invite you in our whole parish community to join us for a movie and reflection night in celebration of Our Lady of Guadalupe. We will watch the 30-minute animation, Juan Diego, Messenger of Guadalupe, over Zoom on Saturday, December 12th at 7 p.m. A short discussion will follow. Please see the newsletter or the bulletin to sign up and for more information. Registration is required. Do you love to sing along with our music? We invite you and your family to participate in our music liturgy. Please contact Andrea if you are interested in helping or for more information. Thank you so much to the Cusick family for hosting today, to Mickey Zabello and to all our wonderful families sharing their gifts of music with us. To Andrea for proclaiming the gospel and offering, offering such a wonderful reflection. And to Michael Sennett for putting all the pieces together for a liturgy today. Finally, as many of you may know, I'm a graduate student at Boston College in addition to my work here at St. Ignatius with all our amazing families. After a great deal of prayer, I have discerned I need to take a step back from my position as Faith Formation Assistant in order to better focus on completing my degrees. And so my last day in the office will be Sunday, December 6th. I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart to this amazing community for opening your arms to me and my husband, Andy. Even though I will not be working in the office, we both look forward to remaining active in the community as parishioners. You will all continue to be in my prayers, and I humbly ask for yours as well as we close our liturgy together. Let us pray. O oh Lord, thank you for the gift of your word. Having received this gift, we ask for the grace to be more like Jesus in our words and deeds. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May God bless us, protect us from evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks. be to God. One, two. Share this couple
Thank you.